about 8.30. We are headed to run a couple errands before I go to Hiram. That's Graham, say hi. Hi. Driving in to Hiram, it's about 9.30. Getting ready to start my day. Just got done with my meeting with Brittany Jackson and she helped me set up my Moodle and now I'm on my way back down the hill to the office. But I don't want to say like call people out. Yeah, I don't want crap. this to be in class and for people to hear me say bad things about someone. Because oh really, that's what we do is rip yeah. on people. <laughs> or like we make fun of Jake and Tom. Yeah, or all whatever. the time. Yeah. Let's go forward because she wants to run around. Is that good? Typically, typically on practice days, Holly and I will plan during the day. And I like to use my handy dandy grid notebook. It's my favorite. Um, so today's practice marathon, mm -hmm. right? Yep. We divided up teams and we like to change it every time. And sometimes we like to just switch one person to see if that has an effect on the team. Um, we switched the liberos. Do all the spin work before. We're gonna do spin work before. So you can get used to their setter. And then for marathon, we have to, uh, they win a free, right? Yeah. win a free ball. They get, yeah. They serve, receive. Yeah. They Then they serve. serve. And then they defend a free, right? And if they do all those things, they get to rotate. Mm -hmm. So it'll be tougher than a scrimmage. Yep. Do a little ball control at the beginning. And that's it. That's how it's done. Yeah. driving out of Hiram to go home. I'll get my five-year-old off the bus around 3.45, have dinner with my family, and I'll come back to Hiram for our volleyball practice seven to nine. See ya. It's about 4.15, spending the afternoon on my porch because it's beautiful, watching my kid play, watching my cats, and relaxing a little bit before dinner and practice. It's about 6.30 and we're back at Coleman for practice tonight. Get a ball control. We're gonna do spin work, but more just warm up, and we're gonna do marathon. And what this is is basically basically a scrimmage on steroids. So we're gonna go through row one through six. The way you get a point and you're allowed to rotate is if you win a free ball, you win and serve receive, you serve and win, and then you have to defend the free ball. So these get progressively harder. But if you win all four, you say yay in a row, you get to rotate. So typically what happens is we keep going back and forth and occasionally we're going to forget where we are in the movie. But Jake will always remember. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, you need to win these four in a row in order to rotate. First team to get all the way through six rotations it is the winner. If we need to take a water break after three, I'm fine with that. Um, and depending on how long, hey, depending on how long this lasts, we might end with a little bit of fitness. We talked a little bit about this. I gave a little PowerPoint during COVID or whatever, but I want to come back to these, these basic principles. I think y'all have shown a lot of grit. You've been tough. Each one of you has been growing, even though it's been funky. We got to be grateful for every day we have. Tomorrow there could be an outbreak and they could cancel everything. So let's play like this could be our last day in the gym because it really could, okay? And Mudita is uh, being happy for your teammates. So no jealousy here. Someone gets a kill on your team. You're praising them, pumping them up, happy for them, not jealous, not pointing fingers or anything. Sound good? Yep. I am excited. Do we need to do dynamics real quick? Let's get stretched out. We'll do ball control. That's good one. Do you want to uh, block it? Doing good. <laughs> pursuing but you lacked the discipline you were leaving base a little early or whatever so if we stay disciplined that's going to be fine on our fatigue one two three A C B B. so i left hiram about 9 30 after practice holly and i usually talk about how it went and uh, now i'm home checked on the kids they're asleep it's about 10 o'clock i usually end my night answering emails and uh, I'll get cleaned up and I'll head to bed. And that's my day.